you very are, much. Are you getting that sort of, I remember that now? Yeah, yeah. 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 having a little moment? that everywhere we go at the moment. Yeah. We're all on O'Connell Street today. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, before we go on, you know, there's an empty seat, so to speak. What, what's the story with Keith? What, where, what happened to him? It's been a tough week for him. It has, uh, hasn't it? Yeah, you know, a really, really tough week. He, uh, he got an allergic reaction to nuts because there was all sorts of... <laughs> <laughs> Speculation. Yeah, no, <laughs> Stephen, we'll get to you later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> so anyway, this is all about There nuts. was speculation about a tattoo and all that, wasn't it? It was a peanut, basically, that he really? had. Really? And uh, It wasn't a peanut. What well, sort of a nut? Peacon nut, sorry. Peacon nut. Peacon it's a yeah. pecan nut. I know, I gave it to him. Yeah. <laughs> you gave him the nuts. <laughs> I'm joking. You get some of those uh, dried mixed fruit, you know? Yeah. It, no, there were nuts. <laughs> Do you know what? You, you, guys, you guys are really aren't helping matters at all. Let's talk to the man himself. He joins us by telephone. Keith, good evening to you. Good evening. Roy, now, how are you? Can, 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 <laughs> he's upstairs in the green room, isn't he? <laughs> are you? He's now, having a point upstairs in the green room. Keith, tattoo, nut, Dried fruit, what? Um, basically, no, I, I feel sorry. Actually, I did actually have a tattoo touched up the night before I got ill, and uh, somebody released that one to the press. But, I mean, I feel sorry for the poor tattoo artist because he's getting it in the neck off everybody, and it wasn't him at all, God love him. Um, I, I, I've never had an allergic reaction to nuts before, but, um, I had, uh, <laughs> but um, you know, living so closely with Stephen for years, I never had one. There was never a problem. But... Um, I, no, I, 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 uh, I had a few mixed nuts in this dance hall the other day, and, and that's the only thing the doctors can make out could, okay. it could have been. And it was, uh, it was a nasty few days, to put it mildly. We've heard stories that you look like the elephant man. Can you confirm or deny this? Well, basically, I woke up and I knew I could feel my forehead swelling during the night. I didn't realise that my eye had actually, my right eye had actually closed, and the right side of my face had become numb. And obviously that's a bit of a scare, but I said I wasn't going to panic. I got back into bed and I said I'll wait till the morning and see what the wife thought. And uh, <laughs> the next morning, the next morning the wife woke up and with her reaction, I knew I wasn't in a good place. Yeah. She, first of all, she thought I'd gone out in the middle of the night and gotten beaten up. And uh, when she realised I hadn't, she got very upset actually. And when she got upset, I kind of got a bit upset myself. And, and and I panicked. I really didn't know what was going on. And then when I looked at my body, I was covered from head to toe in these kind of reds. I don't know like a rash like spots all over me and it was really nasty but the, it, the, obviously the one thing I was worried about was the fact that I looked like Quasimodo you know yeah that's that that, that, that wouldn't help a boy man member has to be said I mean does it does the show well go on though what's that well, <laughs> well described. described yeah very good yeah, at least we now know who we're dealing with <laughs> the, the, sh the show go on without Keith now what happens uh, yeah I mean well the rehearsals did but not the tour by no means I mean uh, we had to rehearse. I mean, we've a lot of work to do over the next three weeks before the yeah. before the tour. But uh, Keith will catch up. He, you know, he's got a, a bit of Ecker to do, but he'd be grand. You okay. Know? Well, Keith, you look after yourself, will you? I certainly I'll do my very best, and I, I'd really love to be there, Ryan. I know I met you there a few weeks ago, and I was really looking forward to doing the show tonight. So I'm a bit disappointed. No, we hope but, you're um, okay. Your health is more important than that. So look after yourself and take it easy. I will indeed. Thanks very much. See well. you next week. Yeah. Yeah. Get well, pal. Next week. Now. Keith was talking there about the, t the tattoos. We've spoken to you before about this, Shane. Like, I mean, I, I didn't know whether to read you or look at you or whatever. To, <laughs> but Stephen, you got one recently um, of some description, I understand. Yeah, um, I did. Uh, what is it of? Uh, Superman emblem. Where, where is it? On my chest. Let's have a look. All right. Come on. <laughs> my man's going to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> but by the way, also during the week, news just news just in, but 10th wedding anniversary for yes. you. Yeah, Congratulations. married on Wednesday. Yeah. What a great result. Yeah, thank you very much. Great result, yeah. <laughs> Still together. <laughs> Let's have champagne. Let's go for everybody in the audience. Go on, let's go. Thank you for Yeah, that. congratulations. Great That's great. I mean, you've got a nice family situation going on, and yeah, it's all good. Lucky. Are they watching tonight? <laughs> Jack, Missy and Ali are at home and Yvonne, so hi guys. So there but, goes. Uh, yeah, 10 years, I mean, we had a great night out in Dublin. You celebrated uh, appropriately, Yes, we did indeed, thank okay. you for that. Can you, Steve, can you remind us just, um, I suppose, eight-year-olds watching, uh, how big were boys, though? I mean, how mad did it get? It got really mad. I mean, it, it's, it was fantastic going around the world, and especially in certain countries, and it was just a mad buzz. I remember we were in India and we were at this hotel, and we got out of the car, and there was 
thousands of people down and pe police whacking them with sticks. <laughs> get back, get back. And we thought it was for royalty or something, but it was for us. And we just couldn't believe it. Yeah. We had to get back in the car and drive around. By the time we got locked in the toilet, we landed in the airport in Indonesia. Oh, yeah. There were so many people in the airport. Yeah. Security, security dragged us through the airport and locked us in a toilet. And the five of us were left there for about an hour while they cleared the airport. And no joke, there's actually photographs in BP's book yeah. of, the, of us all with our bags standing by your rhinos. We were sitting there for an hour. The glamour of it. Oh, yeah. 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 I, I mean, Shay, you, I think you kind of seemed to kind of, you went a bit off the rails in the sense that you, you loved it so much that you kind of went a bit nuts, did you? <laughs> Back to the nuts no, again. Nuts. Yeah. I feel a theme coming on. Yeah. <laughs> no, but you, you kind of, you know, it was a, it was a boozy sort of mad No, I, I, to be honest, I didn't love it so much I went off the rails. It was the opposite. I... I kind of rebelled against what a, a boy band member was meant to be, and um, I think what were you me meant to be? Well, I, I don't know. I just, I just, I think it was um, the fact that there was no credibility in it, and I was a young kid who was heavily into motorsport, heavily into kind of hip hop music, and that kind of, and all of a sudden. Boy band, and um, it was an amazing journey. But I, I, to my immaturities and my stupidity, I kind of. Uh, went on the drunken booze and the, the, the kind of larger loud scene really and, and you know it wasn't a good time for me and, and all the fighting and the drinking and, and all the that kind of, remember on. the MTV Awards when you were, yeah, yeah, what did you say at the MTV Awards? Ah well I wouldn't repeat myself now, <laughs> in fairness, but no, you know I, I was drunk as a skunk, I, I had a little theory I called the Shano theory you know What's which that? is you know the rest of the boys we, we, were, we were, they said we were going to have two MTV Awards and I thought well you know what if I come suited and booted sure we're not going to win an award. So what I'm going to do is I wear now a pair of jeans and a jumper and I'll have a few points and go on there and I bet you we'll get one. And that was my kind of headspace where I was at at the yeah. time, you know, those kind of things. And we did, right enough, we won <laughs> two awards. <laughs> um, but I was drunk and I went up there and I, uh, I was very loose-tongued in them days. Yeah. And, and I think the main thing about that was what I didn't realise and where the immaturity was is I had no respect for the rest of the lads, mm -hmm. um, let alone myself. You know, it's something I, I, I also represent them and I went up there and did the wrong thing. And you know? then, Mikey, you seem to keep the head. Did you... Did you well, I don't know if I, you know, kept the head in, in, in the greatest sense. I suppose... I, th I think we all struggled in, in our own ways to cope with the fame um, and the, the huge change in, in our personal yeah. lives at the time, you know. Yeah. Um, I suppose my way of dealing with it when I was having a bad day wasn't the same as Shane's, but, uh, you know, we, we, I suppose we, you know, we, we were all, like, drinking and so on. Because everyone know? would have said, God, all that adulation must have been great, but it sounds like it was a difficult, rather than a dark time, yeah, where it's more yeah, difficult. You, you certainly it? don't want to put, put too much of a dampener on it. We, yeah. we had a magnificent Fantastic. time, you know, a really fantastic it. time. Yeah, you, had years, yeah. I liked it. It. <laughs> you ended up on stage with some, some you know, great singers in, 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 in the day, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, I mean, I was very lucky. I mean, we got to sing with the Bee Gees. Pavarotti. Yeah. Pavarotti. We got to sing with yeah, Pavarotti. Pavarotti. was that? Great. It was fantastic. The whole team in, in Rome. Was, was it Rome? It was in uh, I can't Modena. Around, I remember I was down drunk. the road in, in Modena. <laughs> yeah. And uh, we had an amazing time. The whole story actually about us getting there because we had played the RDS the night before and we had a massive party. So we all get to the airport in bad shape the next morning. <laughs> yeah. And Pavarotti sent this plane and the plane was in bits. Uh, <laughs> right? It was, was a it? jigsaw of a yoke. It was, it. It was, it was really so It was horrible. So I said, I'm not getting on that. I was a nervous flyer. I'll go get on three or four flights, you know, via somewhere else to get there. So I went off and some of the lads went other ways and we all disappeared. I went home. Duffy said, <laughs> I don't mind, I'm getting on it. So Duffy was still, you know, he had a few on him. So I get on it and go to sleep. So we get on and he fell asleep and he arrives in Modern first and uh, goes to sound check. And then I get there and the two of us are doing sound check. And then we go to the dressing room waiting for the lads to turn up. And Duffy turns around and he goes, you know, we've been there for a good few hours. And yeah. he says, you know, this is a great place and it's a real honour to be here. And, you know, I, I love the fact we're you know, singing with Pavarotti tonight, but who's this Luciano bloke they keep talking about? <laughs> <laughs>